Okay, we're going to look at properties of the equilibrium constant. Now, these are relationships between K, Q, and chemical equations. Okay, so this is making all these connections that are going to be super helpful when you're trying to do these calculations and kind of these properties. So when the reaction is written backwards, i.e. what we call the reactants become the products, that means the equilibrium constant is inverted, also applies to Q. So we see we got our products over reactants. Well, these are new products. That's why they go on top. And our new reactants go on the bottom. So the reverse reaction K is the inverse of the forward reaction numerically. So if this was 50, that means the reverse reaction would be 1 over 50, which makes sense that if the forward reaction is favored, that means, you know, as a higher number, then the reverse reaction would be unfavored at a lower number. Another uh, strategy or other things you can do is when the coefficients of an equation are multiplied by a factor, the equilibrium constant is raised to that factor. So if we start off with an original, you get your product over your reactants. And again, we're keeping in mind that let's say these are all gases or all solutions. Then if we multiplied everything times two, that means everything would be squared, which means we can square the whole thing. Because again, twice, 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 which is where the squared comes from. So it's taken to the nth degree. When you add equations to get a new equation, the equilibrium constant of the new is a product of the two. Now this one gets a little trickier, but we think back to, um, what do you want to call them? kinetics. When we have the multiple things occurring and that you have this happening, then you have an intermediate producing the product. So in A, or I should say number one, we have B over A. Two, we have C over B. The new equilibrium constant would be then multiplied together, which of course, in this case, being an intermediate, would cancel it out and gives us what we would normally think of as our product over reactant. So the values would be multiplied together to produce a new uh, K value. So you'll be utilizing these strategies to produce new Ks each time, whether we're adding things together where we multiply. Come on. Multiplying the amounts to square it or cube it, whatever the case may be, or reversing the reactions. All of those are going to play a role at producing a new K value. Come in with your questions and I'm happy to help. Take care.